Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am filming this on my iMac photo booth. I decided that I didn't feel like pulling up my camera and I thought this would be a fun little way to record this video. So as you can tell by the title, I'm doing my most worn and I have to apologize because this is obviously from April and it's already the end of May. I actually filmed this whole thing quite a few weeks ago and I just haven't had a chance to sit down and do this portion of it which is the chatty bit with my mic and so that's what we're doing today to make it a little bit different because in the past I have always just done like a little music montage on top of the outfits but I decided to do it a little bit some more similar to like how I do oh there's a whole wedding party outside it's actually quite sweet <laughs> but I apologize if you can hear them I wanted to make this a little bit more similar to like how I film my TikTok so I think I have about four outfits to share with y'all and I'm just gonna go through them and if you like this kind of style of me doing it this way please let me know because I think this is kind of fun and gets a little bit more insight into like how I build an outfit so let's get into it so the first look I have here is very casual I have been really loving I'm wearing these cotton like k-o-t-n uh, ribbed lounge pants they're super flowy and comfy I wish they were a tiny bit shorter, but I'm only 5'3", so basically everything is long on me. But I like how comfy they are, and they just work with everything. You could like dress them up, dress them down. I have a graphic tee on underneath, and then this Ralph Lauren polo wool sweater that I actually got in the kids section of the thrift store, and I love it. I don't find myself wearing it very often, but last month I was wearing it so much, and I've been actually gravitating towards it more and more recently um I paired it with this really cute little like bucket straw hat that I got from Aritzia last year you can find these everywhere now I feel like they're super popular Aritzia may even have one I'm going to try to link as many things down below as I can um paired it with my L.L. Bean boat and tote I really love the boat and tote it's such a great bag fits everything and it's just really cute and versatile and then finally, paired it with my Reebok Club C's in the chalk color. I think these are just like a really great classic sneaker. If you are looking to have just an easy white sneaker to go into your wardrobe, I really recommend these. Same with like a Nike Air Force One. Along the same veins as that, they're just comfy and easy and go with everything. So really love that. And then my usual jewelry, my crap eyewear sunnies, and then I'm wearing a scene pattern necklace, same one that I am wearing today. Okay, this next outfit is something I've been doing a lot more recently, and that is like a monochromatic look. So in this one, I am pairing my Everlane slouch jeans. I'm actually unsure if they have these jeans anymore. Um, if not, I will f try and find something similar to share for y'all. And then my top is actually just a um, Stanfield t-shirt. I got it from my cousin. He was like getting rid of some t-shirts, but they're just like the Stanfield crewnecks that come in like packs of three. They're just super soft and the material is great and I feel like they're really easy to throw with everything. Um, obviously wearing my New Balance my new balances no um my hokas the clifton's i think these are like the clifton four they're super old and i will cry when they fall apart because they're my favorite sneaker ever and then paired it with my everlane trench they don't have this exact trench anymore but they do a similar trench coat every season so you definitely could find something similar or check depop if you really want this particular style and then same jewelry I always wear and then this gorgeous straw bag. Um, I just searched market tote on um, Etsy and I found this one and I think I have mine in the medium size. I just made sure I found one that had short straps and long straps because that's like the kind of the style that I wanted. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, this next outfit is very, very similar to the outfit that I just was wearing, but um, I wanted to be as realistic and, you know, authentic as possible showing you my most worn outfits. This is legitimately what I was wearing. Um, so the first are these um, La Causa Diego trousers. I'm actually wearing them right now. I live in them. They're so comfy. The length is great. A pair of pants that I've actually found work really well just like out the gate, um, especially being so short. And then if I'm looking closer, I think I'm just wearing like a plain ribbed t-shirt that I got from Aritzia many years ago, something I'm sure you already have in your wardrobe. Same trench as I was wearing before. I find this trench coat to be really versatile. And then just for like some added fun, I saw someone on Pinterest like do a little um, sweater over the trench moment, which I thought was really cute. So I used uh, like a brown thrifted sweater I had to do that. Same shoes as I was wearing before. And then this time I'm using my like leather black cause bag, which y'all have seen me use a million bajillion billion times. I was about to say billion billion dollars. You guys, my old roommate Hunter showed me that song recently and it was hilarious. So just knock my mic over. We're all good. Okay. Anyways, yeah, same jewelry as my last outfit. <laughs> okay, this outfit is way more casual. I would say on my day-to-day, -day, I actually do wear very casual clothing, as I'm sure y'all have seen when I do my regular vlogging. I'm usually in a sweatsuit or something very comfortable, and this has been like the go-to outfit for me recently. Um, I'm wearing the same Diego trousers that I was wearing in my previous outfit. This time just paired it with some Crocs. I love my Crocs. Um, I got mine from Foot Locker. They have a ton of really great colors and fun patterns on Foot Locker if you are looking for some Crocs in your life. Um, the thrift store is also a great place to check. I actually have quite a few pairs of Crocs that I got from the thrift store. Try like the little kid section. They're always lots in there um, and then I'm wearing this beautiful Canada Goose vest it's really comfortable and I just found that it was really good for that like transitional spring winter sort of temperatures we've been having on the west coast it's still very chilly here even though it's been sunny um, the weather's just not been great and then underneath, I just paired it with this white crew neck. This one is from a little bakery on Salt Spring Island called Francis Bread. Um, but like any crew neck will do. I just like the look of a crew in a vest. I've never used to be a really big vest gal, but um, I after I got this one, I really, really liked it. And then the same accessories that I always do. Okay, last look has been my go-to, like, need to be a little bit more presentable look. So these are the Reformation Cynthia High Rise crop jeans. Um, I get the crop version of any pants I can find from Reformation. Even these are, like, not even super cropped. And like I said, I'm 5'3". Um, overall, though, love these pants. I feel like they just fit so well. They've stretched out a little bit. I would say they've stretched out probably half a size. Um, but I don't wash my jeans. I never have. I throw my jeans in the freezer when I need to clean them or spot clean them if I need to. I think the washing machine is a jean or denim killer, and so I like to avoid that at all costs. And then I'm wearing this oversized black button down that is also from Reformation. I've been wearing this a ton. If you follow me on TikTok, you probably have seen it so many times. It's just really comfy and chic and gives me that like kind of effortless look that I was like kind of going for. Again, same accessories I always wear. And then with this outfit, I actually paired my new Lock Roma sandals. They very kindly gifted them. I'm pretty sure I showed it in a vlog. And I finally have been wearing them out because it's been nice enough to. Um, they're definitely a very, very delicate shoe and have come to realize that I can only wear them for like special occasions because they get like the bottoms just get like really cuffed, scuffed up very easily. So I would proceed with caution um, but these are gorgeous I love that you can wear them a bunch of different ways and are really strappy and I think overall just like the vibe of like button down denim and then some sort of like strappy sandal or like even Birkenstocks is kind of like the feeling I'm going for and have been wearing that a lot even well into the month of May so those are all of my most worn outfits of April 
obviously that is like a stylized version of it. I mean, I obviously did actually wear those outfits, but that was like the kind of like the vibes I was gravitating towards. I think it's super interesting to like take a look into my wardrobe of exactly what or like look back and see what I was wanting to wear during that time because um, I didn't realize how transient and fleeting I am with like what I enjoy wearing. So um, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to film my May one very soon and it won't take as long, I promise. And uh, hopefully I don't regret filming this whole thing on my photo booth, but I think it's kind of fun and it's giving me like, I don't know, camcorder vibes. And I feel like everyone kind of likes that recently. So thank you for watching and I will see all of your beautiful faces in my next video.